Again, and today I'm going to tell you a story about Audrey and the new kid. This story is written by Dave Lemon. Are you ready? Great, let's begin. Audrey was always a bit different from the other kids at school. Shook! Whoa! This slide is a wormhole to another galaxy. She's really having fun, right? Okay, there you go. Clap, 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 clap. Wow, yeah. She's very happy. Her teacher said lessons were never boring with Audrey in the classroom. Her classmates said Audrey always seemed to stand out. Book. Her dog Ernie said, Oh. She seems to be having fun. There you go. Good job. Love those colors. Oh, nice. Wow. Audrey loved spending time with her friends. They appreciated her unique style and she encouraged them to reach for the sky. You're the sand castle queen. When Audrey's teacher introduced a new student to the class, Audrey was excited. She was so sure that they would be the best of friends. Who's that new girl? Audrey and her classmates thought the new girl was fascinating and mysterious. Her name was Maybelline, and she had traveled to the four corners of the earth with her dad. Maybelline was good at inventing fun games and recess, and she very quickly took the role of a leader. Don't jump in there. Go over there. No, not like that. <gasps> Only red leaves in this pile. As time went on, Audrey began to suspect that Maybelline might be telling tall tales. Hmm. Hmm. But the kids at school just couldn't get enough of Maybelline's stories. <gasps> wow. I like your flower, Maybelline. And one day, on a class field trip to the zoo, Audrey decided that she had had enough. Hmm, is that story really true? She asked Maybelline. Of course it's true, Maybelline replied. My dad and I have adventures all the time. In fact, see that monkey over there? I'm going to rescue it. Before Audrey and her classmates even realized what was happening, Maybelline had grabbed a loose vine and was swooping down into the monkey enclosure. Audrey could see that Maybelline was in trouble. She figured it out, so it was up to her to help. Audrey could see that, oh, Maybelline was there in the monkey enclosure. The two girls managed to save the monkey, but they were now in an even bigger jam. After thinking for a minute, Audrey grabbed Maybelline's hand and jumped onto the monkey's tire swing. Ooh, they jumped on it. They had a real adventure and then poof, yikes. Oh my goodness, they swam into it. Snork, hmm, there you go. They were running, they were running and sprung. That was my best adventure yet, said Maybelline. Audrey had to agree. Wow, finally. So I said, warthogs, what if have to be warthogs? I had only minutes to spare. I had to save Audrey from those ferocious beasts. Okay, so there you go. The end. I hope you like the story, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Sometimes, you always have that kind of a uh, friend, right? Who always has stories to tell. But you, you're always there for him or her, right? No matter what. Because you are a good friend, right? Okay, anyway, thank you very much, guys. And don't forget to fill out our story element page. The characters, the setting, 
and the problem of the story and you can also make your own inference anyway thank you so much guys and for those who are new to my channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below and like button and share this video to your loved ones thank you very much bye